It's so silent here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just arrived and it's so beautiful here. This place, it's magical. Literally, it's so silent. <gasps> it's so great. So welcome everybody, welcome to Spain, welcome in Son Casas. So we just had the opening yeah. ceremony of the yoga retreat and look at this cute little dog there. We're having dinner now, it was really nice, we had a beautiful meditation and uh, yeah, now we will enjoy the evening, have dinner and then have a yin class I think. And um, yeah, see you tomorrow. It's a type of yoga that focuses on the ligaments back of your hand and put it like at the edge of your skull and now I want you to push your chin back as you lift your head slightly up so you have a double chin neutralize your pelvis neutralize your rib cage roll your shoulders back good morning it's 10 a.m. now and we just finished our morning practice I feel so good. It's so nice to have this morning routine again, like I did during my yoga teacher training in Bali. The last months, some weeks, I had a pretty good routine, waking up, doing pranayama and some yoga, and then studying, uh, starting my, my work, my day. Um, but the last weeks, traveling a lot, it was a little bit difficult because you just want to get up. Also, when you're traveling with a friend, you're just so excited to do a lot of things, to see a lot, to experience a lot. Um, so it's I'm, I'm really, really happy now to be here, to have that strict routine every morning. Um, it starts at 8.15, so pretty late compared to the yoga training where I started at 6.15 with the morning routine but it's great because like this I can wake up earlier and already go on a walk uh, this morning for example I woke up at 7 and just had a, a studying session I wanted to study for one hour but I had to I know because it was my first night here a little bit new it took me a little bit longer to get ready in the morning and um, yeah to just feel ready to start the day uh, but I was able to study for 20 minutes or 30 minutes uh, before we start with our practice. And maybe I will do it like this for the next days to already study a little bit before the session. And then have the two hours yoga, that it was today, um, a yoga class with pranayama also and meditation. So the entire program. And uh, now it's time to have breakfast and we will also have some workshops today about Ayurveda and the chakras and yoga philosophy, a lot of so interesting topics. So I'm really excited about this and it's so sunny, that's why I can't open my eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really happy right now here and let's have breakfast now because I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, and what was also really nice. Oh, and what was also really nice was that this class wasn't an intermediate class, but it was really like a foundation class. So that was great. The teacher Charlotte, she's amazing. She talked about all the basics, the adjustments, how to put your fingers correctly, um, doing your downward facing dog, and taking care of your shoulders and the bandas and all these basics. They are so so important because it, also if you're already intermediate and you're practicing yoga for a long time sometimes it can happen and you just 
growing, growing and changing and doing more difficult things that you forget about those basics. But these are the most important things because it's the foundation and you don't want to miss them because then you hurt yourself and you can get injuries. So that's pretty amazing right now to have these basics again. Um, yeah, but now let's have breakfast. And I have different glasses than you have. So what is true? Like you said, Pascal, like what is sure? What is the truth? There is no truth. Everything's neutral. There's no good or bad. There's no right or wrong. There's no higher or lower. It's all man-made. Eine richtige schmose Katze. Die Kohle sind so schmose Katze. Bist du mir jetzt deine Früh? Vielen Dank. Heaven! all kinds of layers and in the middle of the onion there is the center you stop the thought you're like okay i i cut you and then you swap it for something positive Now maybe this feels a little bit compressed at first, but then find the grace of the breath. Get back, pull your top shoulder back, and think big. So one of the things I enjoy the most during this retreat is the morning silence. I really forgot how beautiful it is to just be quiet the first few hours of the day. I already had this morning silence during my yoga teacher training in Bali and it's so calming. It's just so good to have this now again because you realize, hey, in the morning when, you, when you're just with yourself, with your thoughts, you don't have the chance to talk about how bad your night was, how bad you slept or whatever. And so you just realize how unnecessary it sometimes is to talk, to just talk stupid unnecessary stuff and i don't want to say that you shouldn't talk with others and tell them about your problems or whatever but having this time in the morning to just observe your thoughts and reflect is you just have to experience it's beautiful because then a lot of ideas come we vera and i went on a walk one morning and out of nothing i had so many ideas because i didn't use my energy to talk with her about what we see or what's happening whatever i was just able to look within to let these thoughts come these ideas and just reflect to observe think about it uh, so yeah we'll definitely try to keep doing this also afterwards Vera and i already said that we want to stick to this also um, when we continue traveling now when we're going to other places just maybe until 9 a.m. that everyone or until 8 is it raining oh my God. <laughs> even just until 8 that everyone has their own morning routine um, just maybe journaling or doing some yoga as we always do stretching some breath work meditation and then maybe already some deep work and then for breakfast that we're able to talk then again so right now it's uh, the morning silence series until 10 yoga starts at 8 15 so two hours and then we're just practicing yoga so there's not a lot of possibility to talk uh, but yeah that's something i can only recommend you to give it a try um and now i'm just enjoying the sun a little bit we're going to walk now and see you there
today was a really chill day. We just had our morning practice this morning and I just stayed in the room afterwards to study and work a little bit. And now we are in the beautiful small village Veje de la Frontera because the finca uh, where we are staying is 10 minutes away from here. So it's nice to be a little bit in a city again uh, after just being in nature for a few days, not being surrounded by many people or not doing a lot. Um, so yeah, we're just walking around and we just had a coffee at a cafe and now we're just enjoying the afternoon a little bit and let's see what we'll do later. So Bejer de la Frontera is such a cute village. We are just walking around and taking a lot of photos and videos. Oh my God, how cute is this? Everywhere there's something beautiful. So yeah, as yogis uh, and content creators, we're taking a lot of videos again and yoga flows everywhere. It's really funny because there aren't a lot of people, but there are always some uh, cars driving by and people just like looking at us, staring at us. <laughs> Uh, it's so beautiful here. I just love Spanish cities. I will show you a little bit. Wait. Have you seen the dust and oz? Un pelito! Hola! Uy, que lindo! Oh my god! <laughs> For a moment, rest your hands onto your left and six. Inhale. Just keep it straight and keep your shoulders down at all times. In yoga, both the human body and the cosmos are based on the magic of only five elements. Earth, water, fire, air, and ether. They will define your unique tri dosha, it's called, so the unique constitution of your doshas. And then they will provide you guidelines around activities, like what you can do or what you should avoid. Here we have cauliflower and fresh mango sriracha <laughs> sauce. <gasps> oh, shit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god. Good morning, it's Saturday. There's a cute little cat. Hello. Oh. Oh. It's today the last day of the retreat. Oh, we just finished the closing ceremony. Uh, it's so beautiful outside, sunny and blue sky. 
and yeah what can i say it was a beautiful week it was just really great to take some time every day to really look within to have this morning practice the morning silence really connecting with the body again having this movement routine also in the morning is i think crucial to oh my god it's just so beautiful to take this time for yourself to be able it's a luxury right to take care of yourself so much so i will definitely continue practicing yoga every morning again for me yoga is not a workout to get in shape or whatever but it's a spiritual practice also a form of self-love to just show up for myself to take this time for myself to connect with my body really to move intuitively a yoga practice always teaches you something because you have to be disciplined you keep showing up you show compassion to yourself if something doesn't go the way you want you want it to be you want it to go so that's something i've really realized this week again and now we're just enjoying our last few hours here all together having breakfast and packing everything and it's a beautiful place here really nature i mean look at this so quiet <sighs> so yeah it was a great week and i can only recommend this to everyone going on a retreat if you feel like you really need some a fresh start you need some distance from your life from everything going on because yeah we all have the techniques we know what to do but sometimes it's necessary to really just even just for a few days leave everything go away really just take care of yourself connect to yourself and then you come back with so many different new perspectives and thoughts and ideas and it can help you so much to have a new star with a lot of fresh energy so i can only recommend this to everyone if you're thinking about joining a retreat definitely check out charlotte and her yoga school cocoon cocoon <laughs> um her retreats are amazing i really love her classes her voice is so calming and beautiful so i would definitely join another retreat again i will link everything below her instagram and so on feel free to check her out and until then wish you all the best and see you soon <laughs>